Yes. You went to mat time? I'm gonna just kick mom in the tits. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> wow, holy neck muscles. Are you kidding me right now? I'm so proud of you, I'm not even mad. There is a fly on my camera. Get out here. Hey guys, this video is kind of like a part two or a follow up from last week's video, which I'll link you to. We did a um, kind of an update for Harlow and myself because due to the baby is three months old. Are you three months old? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And um, I did a QA, and uh, I answered a couple Q&A questions in the last video and there was just too many good ones to like not answer all of them almost. And I wanted to kind of go into detail. So this is part two. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you not being stimulated enough or are you still hungry? Let's see. Are you still hungry, baby? Yeah, you're sucking on your fist. Maybe you went to bottle? Oh, oh, oh. I lost it up. Hang on. Who the hell bring, grabs a bottle and not a burp cloth? This is my first time at this rodeo. Clean yourself up. You're so messy. Do we, we need an outfit change? Get it together. Okay, so. Um. Let's see. Are you guys doing sleep training with Harlow? So she is, um, honestly, I don't really know what the definition of sleep training is. I should probably know that. I think it's when she sleeps in a different room and you let her cry it out and all that. So we are doing a version of that. Um, I guess we are kind of for nap time. We will put her in her, um, this was a fellow mom told me this, uh, that is in, uh, like a fire wife and she says, she swears by it, it works every time. But basically, are you still hungry? Let me see what the baby want. What's the baby want? What's the baby want? No, I'm not funny. No? Yeah? You my funny? You got a boogie in your nose. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. That's one thing I didn't think I'd ever do is pick her boogers and I do. Let me see what the baby want. What's the baby want? What's the baby want? No, I'm not funny. Boogie in your nose. Hi, oh, there's a smile. Oh, there's a smile. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that? Does that make you laugh? Does that make you laugh? You just needed all the attention on you, huh? Is that all we needed? <laughs> Let's try this again. We've got Harlow over here and her little baby Bjorn bouncing away. She's like learned how to bounce herself on that thing and she just bounces away. So she's got some sensory videos on the TV. We'll see how well this works. It's kind of a bummer because I was hoping that she would be sitting in the video and you guys get to hang out with her and me too. But anyways, um, so anyway, sleep training. So um, basically what she said to do because she's not like, she's like a newborn, but not like a newborn anymore. So there are so many methods out there and I um, should probably put my uh, phone on silent. There are so many methods out there and there I don't think that there's anything that's right or wrong. I think you just need to figure out what works for you. So what's working for me and is going super great and have I've gotten like one and a half to three hour naps out of her like I talked about in the last video. Um, is so I will take her and put her in her Ollie swaddle, not now because she's rolling over. So as of today, can no longer do that, but, um, I can do the swaddle with the arms out or a sleep sack. So we'll put her, I'll put her, um, I'll make sure she's fully fed, has a, a clean diaper. We'll swaddle her and then we'll roll her bassinet in front of her TV. We put a little TV in her nursery and I'll put on like a sensory lullaby video. Supposedly sensory videos help, um, help uh, their cognitive um, development supposedly. So I don't feel like I'm just like putting on cartoons or something, but I'll put that the lullaby um, video on and then she will go to sleep. If she starts fussing, I will start a timer for 20 minutes and 
Every single time without fail, she has fallen asleep within three minutes of fussing or crying. And that has worked amazingly. Um, supposedly you're not supposed to do that with like new newborns, but she was two weeks late and she's three months now and it is working amazing. And if she wakes up before it's been an hour, I will start the timer again. And, um, that's what I was told to do by another mom who has three kids and she said, it's worked great. It's working great for us. So that's what we're currently doing. How do you feel ready for sexy time? Um, she says she's struggling. So I don't think that you should feel pressured to go back to your sex life. Like if you are not feeling comfortable or you're not there yet, or you just straight up don't want to, don't push it. Um, you should not have to do that. And if your partner is kind of like pushing it a little bit, just share your feelings with them. And if they can't like understand that, that you need to be mentally ready for that and physically ready for that, then they're an asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kind of. Um, but I think that you should do it when you're ready. I will say that having a beer or a glass of wine definitely helps loosen you up a little bit, not um, physically. Well, kind of physically, mostly mentally. So I definitely recommend that if you do like wine, um, if you're breastfeeding, obviously be very careful. There are test strips to see if there's any alcohol in your breast milk. But anyways, um, I would recommend some alcohol if you are, um, have I seriously already been talking for nine minutes? What the fuck? Yes, I've already been talking for nine minutes. I can't believe it. But basically, yeah, I wouldn't do it unless you're ready. Like just, you know, ease into it. Maybe you need some foreplay. Um, I don't know. But if you're not feeling ready for it, then just put it off until you feel good. Like sex with your partner is not just about your partner. It's about both of you and making love and all of that cheesy stuff. So if you're not really ready, don't feel like you need to put out. I will say that um, hand jobs go a long way. So if your partner is kind of feel, like you're feeling a little rushed by your partner, um, offer a hand job because that pretty much always works. I think I'm gonna move the camera right now because like, Harlow's just being so cute, like kicking and like playing in her little like baby Bjorn. It's adorable. How has Nick and your relationship changed? So um, I would say that there's like some little arguments here and there a little bit more right now. We're kind of like struggling to learn how to be good parents. Like if I do something that he feels is like kind of unsafe, he'll tell me and then vice versa. And so it's like kind of like teamwork, but there's always that like space where you don't want to step into where you're like hovering and like telling your partner what to do and making them feel less than and like they can't do the job on their own when really you're just coming from a place of like love. So I would say that has changed. And then just, just a little bit. Um, and then also, uh, just like we're home more, I would say, because a lot of the stuff that we used to do, we can't do with a newborn. So, or like a baby that can't hold her head up. Like she can't really sit in like a carrier because she has to be facing out and her neck's just not really strong enough for that yet. So like a lot of the stuff is just more difficult, like going to the beach and sitting on the beach is a little more difficult. Um, so we just kind of haven't really done like a lot of those types of things. And we, and, you know, like going shooting and going out to the desert, going to Mexico, like, um, like driving down to Mexico. Like we haven't done some of those things that we like love to do because it's made it harder with a baby. So I'm sure we'll get back to it. I mean, shit, we better. Cause that's like what we love, but it, it has changed our activities a lot and we've been at home a lot more and we don't eat out as much currently. Hi Jojo's. Hi pretty boy. What was surprisingly easy you thought would be hard? So I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I didn't think, I kind of thought everything was gonna be a little hard, hard and it has been. I don't think there's been really anything that's been easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I was kind of like a realist thinking about kids. Like anytime like I was, like before I had her, where I'd be like, doing, you know, do you want to hold your little, you want to hold your little banana? This long strap kind of makes me nervous. I have to like be watching her. She, it's supposed to go around her wrist so she doesn't drop it. Like, you know, like a pacifier thing. 
but I don't know, it makes me nervous. I have to, here, hold your banana. Hold your banana. I sent, my picture, I sent a picture of her to my mom earlier with this and she's like, what's that yellow penis? And I'm like, it's a banana, Donna. Get your head out of the gutter. So yeah, anytime, like before I had her, if I'd be doing something that I particularly like was enjoying, like maybe just sitting on my computer and procrastinating for like seven and a half hours in a day, drinking my espresso, like being an asshole, like I would just be like, okay, I can't, I don't, I'm not gonna be able to do that soon. Like my time is like, she's gonna dictate how long I spend doing what, and it really has been that because my job first and foremost is to care for my child and she comes first before anything else. So, um, other than my husband, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like, I've, I've got to take care of her. And so my other stuff is just whatever, but I, short story long, I, I think everything's been as hard, if not harder than I thought it was going to be. What's your favorite thing about momming? Um, I think it's been really nice to like relate to other couples that we know that have children. Um, because I have always been one of those people that like, I'm not like a kid person. I would say I don't like love other people's babies or kids. Um, I'm not somebody that's like, let me hold your baby. Like, Oh, like, you know what I mean? I just kind of uh, like OPKs, like other people's kids, like, you know, so now that we can hang out with like our friends that have kids, I, I can relate to them a lot more. And so I'm actually like loving that part of it. But I think more than anything, I'm loving just seeing the way she looks at her dad and she looks at me. It's just like the sweetest, most innocent, beautiful thing ever. And I love our mornings. Like I'll, I'll grab her out of her, um, crib or bassinet and I'll put her between Nick and I and she just laughs and giggles and like talks and it's just like it just is so it's so sweet there's like nothing better have you or Nick felt embarrassed by something you've done uh, as parents so far so I'll let him share his with you because I think I know what it is and I was thinking I would do like a daddy Q&A what's the meter you want your little you want your panda you want your panda Okay, we'll wrap, we'll wrap this up, okay? What'd you think? Should we wrap it up? Look at Casey, your video. Um, so I'll let him share his with you because I was thinking about doing like a daddy Q&A. Um, but uh, um, one thing that I was really embarrassed by is that I forgot to put the lock on the... I Okay. Um, I forgot to put the lock on her stroller and I was putting stuff in the car and my stepmom was with me and she's like, Kristen, Kristen, Kristen. And she like started, I'm like, oh my gosh, what? Her stroller had started like rolling away from me. And I'm so embarrassed by that because it's so stupid that I wouldn't think to put that on. But like, you just like learning to be a new mom, you just, and with the lack of sleep and stuff and your brain is shitty anyway now, it's just shit for brains that it's so hard to like remember just simple stuff like that, but it's so dangerous for your child. And so I was so embarrassed by that. I was just like mortified. Um, but more so than being embarrassed, I was just like, holy shit, that could have ended horribly. Like she didn't go into the street or anything. She just went to the other little parking spot that was empty, but like, it doesn't matter. Like it could have gone really bad. And so I'm embarrassed to even like admit that, but you know how I, we just keep it real on this channel. I tell you guys everything. So yeah, that's probably one of the most embarrassing things I've done so far. Must have products. So I feel like that's a whole video in and of itself and it's different for everybody, but I will say right now there is a product that I have literally used once that was I wouldn't say a waste of money because I didn't actually buy it, but um, someone was like, you're gonna need this, you're gonna love it. Um, the the Docatot, I've used it like once. She hates it. She hates staring at the ceiling. She has to be seeing what's going on. So this, Baby Bjorn, um, and I pretty much always have this strapped in, by the way. I just don't have it like that now because it's really quite flat and I'm right here, but she does try and lift herself out of this thing. Um, so this thing has been the most useful thing I think that we have period. I'm like trying to think, um, this went to Germany with us. It went to our Airbnb with us. It was in front of our seats on the flight. It's, we take it everywhere with us. Like if we're eating outside, she's sitting in this. She can bounce herself now. She like pushes her feet out and can bounce herself. You probably saw it a little bit ago. And it is like 
so key. Like, and when I first got this, I was like, how is this gonna be the one thing that I'm gonna love? Cause the person that got it was like, and other people were like, you're gonna need this, you're gonna love it. And I was like, it's not even motorized. Like it just sits there. Like, I don't know. Um, this has been the number one item that we needed and that I need still. So when she grows out of this, it's gonna be a sad day. If her name wasn't Harlow, what would it have been? So I have a video where I shared like names that we loved or I loved and still love, but didn't use. So it would definitely be one of those. I'll link that video for you guys down below. Any more kids in your foreseeable future? Harlow is such a doll. Thank you. I think she's so sweet too. Say thank you. Are you a pretty girl? Are you a pretty girl? Yeah, you're a funny girl. Um, so I feel 27 different ways about that. Like, I think I want like four kids, but then when I have to get up early or I'm interrupted doing something that I'm really focusing on because she can't just like chill for a second, watch the TV, like I get like, I'm just like, oh, this is so annoying. But it's what I signed up for. That's what mom put it, this is what it is. But, and it's not gonna last forever. But those moments make me feel like, oh, like how can I do, um, how can I do two under two? Like, how can I, um, how can I like, how can I do more than one child? Like without full-time help, like I don't know how anyone does it. But then there's other, oh, she's pooping. You pooping? You gonna eat while you poop? Are you serious? Whatever, I'm not judging. Whatever, do, do your thing, I won't look you in the eyes. But then the other part of me is like, I kind of just wanna have them like back to back so that I'm not in like re-entering the newborn stage like over 10 years, do you know what I mean? Like. Are you done with that? You don't want that no more? You don't want that no more? I have to burp you in a second, okay? Let's wrap this up. Oh, come here, my little baby. She usually spits up quite a bit, so I have a feeling this is gonna go down my back. Can I have this? Can I have this? Look at those big eyes. Oh, look at those eyes. Do you like what's on the TV? Can you still see it like this? She is fully like, <laughs> wow, holy neck muscles. Are you kidding me right now? I'm so proud of you, I'm not even mad. But can I burp you though, seriously? <laughs> can you put your head down? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Harlita, Harlazy. I am so impressed. So anyways, yeah, um, part of me is like, let's just bang them out so that like the newborn phase is back to back to back and like we know what we're getting into kind of deal and like we'll just bang them out. So I don't really know. I think a lot of it's gonna depend on like if my parents or my mom, like um, parents, I mean, my step on my dad or my mom like end up living nearby and can like help. Um, I think a lot of it depends on that. Uh, yeah, can you give me a burp? Can you give me a burp? Oh, there it is. Good girl. Well, since you're so into this TV show, let me just put you right there. Have you been having me time? Not really. Um, every now and then, Nick, Nick is so sweet. He's like, go, go spend the night at Jenna's. Like, go have fun, go do something. Um, but like, I feel bad just like ditching Harlow with him because not only do I miss her, but, um, like he'll be have been at work for a few days and then you know like he needs time for himself too so that's actually kind of really challenging with firefighters it's like i've been here with her for three days i need a freaking break um not because i don't love you but you're a lot you're a lot sister you're very dramatic but when he comes home i don't want to just be like here you go and like go off because he was just at work for three days <laughs> you know like he needs him time too so it's kind of a an interesting one so if any firewives out there if you have any tips for me please let me know but he will watch her while I go get my nails done or go get my hair done or something. So it's always a little bit of me time, but it's just kind of here and there. And I would thrive on a specific day of the week knowing that I have this like good chunk of time to like do whatever I wanna do. And I kind of talked about that in the last video um, about a nanny that I had for three weeks and we already got rid of her. Um, got rid of her that sounds really bad sorry like I we it just wasn't working out so we we just decided that mutually that it wasn't working out so anyways I talked a little bit about that but I think um 
it'll be really nice having a specific day coming up here soon that I know I'm gonna have to myself. I think that'll be really good for me mentally. I think that is like all the questions. There's some more on here about like reviews on things, um, diaper and wipe recommendations, but um, I would love to do like a video where I dive deeper into that. I really wanted to talk about like postpartum products too, because there's a lot that I learned with her that I wasn't prepared for, that I didn't know that I needed. Like one of them being like a mattress cover um, and a lot of like, it just there's a lot of stuff that I didn't realize that like I, and I had to like, yeah, that's so cute. That's so cute. You trying to roll over and stuff? Did you poop your pants? Let me see. Casey, Casey, you're so strong. You're so strong. There's no poopers in there. What happened? I thought you were pooping. She turns like red, sticks her feet out and curls her toes and just turns like as red as a tomato. And that's how you know she's pooping. She started too earlier but she didn't finish it. There's some other videos that I wanna do about like new products, postpartum stuff, travel stuff. So I've got a lot on my plate. I've got a lot I wanna do. So um, really looking forward to that babysitter up the street that I talked about in the last video. Very excited about that. So if you guys have any more questions that you thought of during this video, or if I didn't answer your question, please leave it below and I'll try to reply to your comment and get back to you. But thanks to Harlow for letting us film this video. She was so good. You were so good. Yeah. Yeah. What are we gonna do now? Should we go check out the garden? Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. If you guys have any like video suggestions or anything you wanna see, please let me know in the comments below and check the description box for some links and some stuff. And um, I think we're gonna go hang out in the garden. What do you say, Harlow? Cool. Bye guys.